यस श्रीमती इंदिरा जी नेशनलाइज बैंक दे वॉज अ पर्पज एंड दैट पर्पज प्रॉब्ली वॉज सर्व पार्टली सर्व फुल्ली सर्व आई एम नॉट गेटिंग इन टू दैट टूडे वी हैव क्वाइट अ फ्यू नंबर ऑफ बैंक्स सम परफॉर्मिंग वेरी वेल सम परफॉर्मिंग प्रॉब्ली जस्ट अबाउट ऑल राइट एंड दे हैव अ वेरी बिग रोल टू प्ले देर इज नो डाउट but yet we need banks which are going to be able to scale up so we have even announced and recently one year ago one and a half years ago in fact one before also during 2016 17 amalgamating banks so that you have banks big enough like i think i have even said before we need banks of the size of state bank of india in this country many more of them so we have brought in banks which are going to be able to meet the aspirational needs of this country and also because these need not be a subjective on the spot decision we have announced a public enterprise policy based on which we have identified those four areas in which we said government presence public sector presence will be there and bare minimum presence is what we have said in that financial institutions are also there meaning even in financial sector we will still have the presence of public sector enterprise which for your uh, immediate answer means that not all of them are going to be privatized first point second even for those which are likely to be privatized we are obviously going to have to keep in mind that these privatized institution will also continue to function after the privatization we'll also have to ensure that the staff or the personnel who are there their every interest will be protected so we will ensure that we are not uh, going to be disinvesting or we are not going to be selling them off because whatever may happen to them we are not worried no we want financial institutions to get more equity more people to put in money into them to make them sustainable we also want their staff to be able to perform the duties which they have really acquired as a skill over the decades and run the banks so very quickly if you kindly have a look at the public sector enterprise policy which we have come out with and identified those core sectors in which the presence of public sector enterprises will still continue even financial sector is in it so to immediately quickly conclude saying oh every bank is going to be sold off is not right and even whether it is bank so any other privatization i want to take this opportunity to tell through you the media that the interest of the workers interest of those who have put in services over the decades will absolutely be protected whether it is their salaries whether it is their uh, scale whether it is their pension it will all be taken care of and above all the first premise that i would like to put before you is even when we speak of privatization or disinvestment we recognize that each one of those units perform for the economy so if there is a coal unit or a thermal unit or a hydro unit or a steel unit the intention is if there are people who would run it putting more money in them we still need those power which it produces still need the coal which comes out of it still need the steel which comes out of it still need the banks to reach out to the people and for these units to function function with more money coming in with more uh, specialization with more modernization we need to have some investment come from others 
and purely let us also understand if, for instance, we want to sell it to retail buyers within India, it is our duty to ensure that the workers' interests are protected, that institution runs further, produces that which we are not able to put in more money to produce. So first assumption is not to take that it is going to be closed, people are going to be removed. No, not at all. All these factors are being kept in mind. I want to assure you through, your, through the media that it is not a, a quick decision. We have applied a lot of mind and also we, all, we are very conscious of the interest of the workers in very many of these institutions. So, whoa, I don't know if it answers your uh, question. <laughs>